YouTube, what's going on? Kenny here, also known as SilentFan85. You guys, I don't know what to call this video. Um, I want to call it a gamer log, a video log, you know, whatever you want to have it. But I wanted to give you guys, some of you guys are new to the channel, and some are new to, uh, you know, pretty much everything here on the channel. And I wanted to give you guys a background on me a little bit. Uh, just a little bit about who I am. Um, I've been going through a lot the last couple of weeks you guys that know I figure this will probably help me remember who I am as well because sometimes we need that but um my name is Kenny uh, I'm originally from Texas I was born and raised there for 25 years um I lived in various states past that I lived in uh, Georgia Oregon Arkansas uh 33 years old I just turned 33 in January and, um, yeah, this past January, as of this, uh, recording. Um, obviously some of my favorite hobbies are video games, reading books, movies. Um, uh, I'm a bit of an entertainment nerd, you know, I always have been. I mean, gaming and movies and books have kind of helped me escape, uh, at times in my life. And, um, done me a lot of good. I mean, a lot of good. And, uh, I'm pretty proud of that. I've, you know, I've never done illegal drugs. I've never... Uh, drank too much. I've gotten buzzed. You know, I've never gotten like shit faced drunk. Uh, I guess that's something to be proud of. I have been inebriated a little bit, you know, but I've never been so much to the point of where I just fell flat on my face or anything like that. Um, I think I kind of contradicted myself there, but, um, but like I said, you know, I've, I've done a little bit of drinking. I've even done it live on, uh, live on stream. And, um, but aside from that, I've led a, to be honest, compared to most people, I've probably led a pretty boring life. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. I've actually, I've done some things that I guess people, uh, some people have never done. I've broken a world record, even if unofficially. It was uh, 31 hours of World of Warcraft. We did it for charity. We raised a thousand dollars here on the channel. Um, I've started a YouTube channel that I've enjoyed. I've built a great community out of it. I've been doing this for going on seven years now. Um, it's only started really taking off the last few years, which I have you guys to thank for that. But I enjoy doing it. It's the reason I do it. Um, I am married. Um, I've been with... There's, there's only been three women that I've ever really truly loved throughout my life. My wife is one of them, uh, and there were two others. I'm not going to name any names, but um, they were before my wife, obviously. Um, but that's that's a little, you know, it's a little bit of my personal life. Uh, I was diagnosed with periodontal disease. I have dentures. Um Y'all, you know, some of you may not know that. It's a little bit of a tidbit. I've been diagnosed with psoriasis. Uh, psoriasis, is, in case you don't know what it is, it's still being researched, but it is for, um, it's an, it's an immune disorder. Um, I have psoriasis in my face, my head, my ears, my eyes, my lower back. Um, I've been through trials. I have been through all kinds of stuff uh, for it. I've been battling it for 12 years now. It started when I was 19. Um, then it just built from there. I've been diagnosed bipolar. Um, I've been diagnosed with PTSD due to some shit that went down in my childhood. Um, I've done various videos on that. I'm not going to really get into it, but, um, it, it's just, it's funny how all of that stuff in life can kind of lead you to where you are now, you know, and, uh, you have those weeks where everything piles up and that's, that's kind of how it's been. Uh, the last couple of weeks, everything's been piling up on me, and you know, it's, um, really kind of helped me squash down and forget who I am, you know, what I'm, what I'm about. Um, I, I love what I do. I love YouTube. I love gaming. I love who I am. Um, I've, with that said, uh, with being diagnosed with bipolar and PTSD, um, I did have suicidal thoughts and tendencies. I had a plan a couple months back. Uh, checked myself in. 
got help. Um, and ever since then, I've been driven to rediscover myself and, uh, because I never thought it possible. I, you know, I've, I've dealt with a lot of, sh a lot of stuff throughout my life and, um, I never thought I would come up with a plan to do that, but I did. And it scared the shit out of me to do that, you know, cause I didn't, I didn't think myself capable of it. I didn't. And, um. But I did. And it just kind of shows you that you can never really know yourself truly when you're pushed, when you're, especially when you push yourself or, you know, you let stuff, you let stuff um, get way too overweight for you. Uh, speaking of weight, random fact, I'm close to 360 pounds. That's how much I weigh right now. Um, I am overweight. I am obese. Um, I, people tell me I carry it well. I mean, I'm five foot 11 and a half. Um, nature decided to deny me that half inch giggity. Um, another random fact, I got my GED. I'm a high school dropout. Uh, I got my GED when I was 17, 2003. Yeah, I was around 17, 18 years old. I, I found school boring. You know, I couldn't, um, uh, I, I did, I did go through IQ testing. I do have a fairly high IQ. Um, I don't like to give out any numbers cause it sounds like bragging, but I am smart. I'm very smart, very intelligent. Um, and you know, I've used that to my advantage as much as I can. Um, but at the same time with that, I've also found life sometimes not too exciting because I've, I figure stuff out before, you know, before most people do. And it's, it's gotten boring. It's, it's what happened in school. It's what happened with school. It's what happened with life sometimes. Most of the time, at least within the last few years, as, as I've gotten older, um, that's when I've, I've looked at, I've looked at my life and I've been like, yeah, you know, could have made some uh, different choices. <laughs> but with that said, I have no regrets. Uh, I used to, I used to have a lot of regrets in my life. You know, I used to, um, I used to regret every choice I made, every word I said, I'd worry. God knows I was anxious, had a lot of anxiety. Not to say I don't have anxiety nowadays, but it's nowhere near where it was. And my beard is crazy right now. Speaking of worry. Um, but... Yeah, so, you know, it's, um, I'm a bit all over the place with this video, but that's, you know, that's, that's pretty much how my life has gone. I've been through a lot, done a lot, um, romance has not, uh, been absent in my life. I've fallen in love, I've been with girls that I haven't been in love with, um, you know, I've, I've been romantic with more than a few girls, and, uh, you know, some some guys, some nerds may look at that and be like, "You're a god. How do you talk to girls?" It's, you know, if if I had to give any information, or if I had to give any tips for guys or even girls, you know, if you're looking to love somebody or if you're looking to approach somebody, be open, be you. I know it's cliche, but seriously, I mean, if you try to put on something fake, or if you try to put on a front, it's not worth it. Especially if you want, if you're looking at long term, it's not worth it. Don't don't put on a front. Don't fake it. Just uh, be you. Be true to yourself. And if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, eh, it doesn't work out. The least the the least you can say is that you tried, and that's what counts. Is trying. Uh, and I think that's one of the lessons of life is to to try, give it your all. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You know. Um. See what. Why don't we continue this in another video? We're hitting on 10 minutes. Um, and we'll continue silence of life lessons and then go from there. So we'll call this, um, we'll call this a, a, a video log, uh, part one. And, uh, we'll go from there. So remember, you're awesome. Never throw it to otherwise. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.